Okay, I am going to do a art prompt along with Aunt Beck. I believe I'm live. The first prompt was the first prompt was draw arrows, and I don't have my chat box live here. Let's hope it comes in. Okay. So I have to draw some arrows here real fast, and not with that pen. I'm sorting out these pens because when I use them for the doodles, they get dry pretty fast. So... Whoa! Doodle! <laughs> you don't want to tell you fill your entire page. Oh my. Oh my. These might be postcards. The second prompt is doodle until you fill the entire page. I'm going to reach and get my other markers here. I need more markers. I need more markers. Hello to everybody. I'm... I am uh, working along with Aunt Beck. She knows I'm live, and she's calling out the Dirty Dozen prompts. And let's see. I'm going to do it. Oh, she's going to doodle with pink. I'm going to doodle with pink then. Let's doodle with pinks. Uh, hearts? Oh, that's orange. Let's doodle with pink. Well, huh. Huh. Well, let's put some hearts in here. Uh, I mean, we should be filling the entire page, but I, I feel like hearts inside of my arrows. Hi, Marie. Hi, Joe. Hi, Beth. <laughs> you fooled me, Beth. Oh, I like the hearts in there, but I have to fill the entire page. Oh, what am I going to... Hmm. Huh. I don't want hearts all over everything. You know what I think I'm going to do? Let's just do some, some really tall, because, oh my goodness, I've got a lot of doodling to fill the entire page. Oh my. These are prompt. I think she said these prompts came from Barbowen, from the Barbowen deck. Oh, well, we'll do this. <laughs> doodle big, yeah. That says doodle big. Oh, well, I should put some in here then. Doodle big. <laughs> I cut up my ladybugs this afternoon, and they are actually going to be little doodle pick tens. Wow. Now I can put hearts in here, I think. Let's do them upside down ones too. They are 18 by 24. 18 by 24 is the size of this. But I do think that I will make postcards. I think Aunt Becca is going to make postcards this week. And I think I will too. Uh, depending on, maybe I'll just, hopefully we won't get much paint on here. Um, I, I don't want to do a lot of collaging on here because postcards are, you know, sending collaged <laughs> Nine by twelve. There. Beth, Beth, Barbowen. <laughs> oh, she's filling hers in. Maybe I'll do little hearts inside. Except you know, Valentine is going to be over with tomorrow, huh? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure hearts were the right thing to do because Valentine's is going to be over with tomorrow. I might change these hearts into something else. In other words, scribble across your entire page. 
<laughs> yeah, Beth, thanks for watching both of us. I I like to go live. There you all are. Hi, Eddie Daw. Hi, just make something. Is that is that Kim Marie? Just make something. Hi. Hi, Eddie Daw. Well, let's see. I'm not sure I like hearts. What can I do? Can I do some flowers? I'm going to make my hearts into flowers because Valentine will be over with tomorrow. And if I want to send postcards. Oh, <laughs> what is she saying? <laughs> what are you guys telling her? <laughs> are you listening to me, Aunt Beck? Is Aunt Beck listening to me? Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Giovanna. You're listening to me? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Aunt Beck. This is almost like a hangout, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this with you. I think it's cool to work with you. <laughs> well, my hearts, my hearts are going to become little pink flowers. <laughs> sort of. They might become shamrocks, three, three, uh, three leaf clovers. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, my page is covered with scribble. Aunt Beck is actually listening to me too as she's calling the prompts. That is so cool. <laughs> How fun this is. Hi, Serenity. Christy. Hi, Christy. <laughs> Aunt Beck and Aunt Beck is doing a dirty dozen, and Mary asked if she could go live and Let's see, I think I'll put little flowers in the arrows here, too. That's perfect. Um, huh. <laughs> huh well let's I was watching Aunt Beck earlier and she was making those beautiful cards <laughs> I love your cards Aunt Beck that was just those are awesome cards wow you guys have to if you haven't logged into Aunt Beck's live tonight, go do it. She, she makes, yeah. Aunt Beck's Creations. I'll put a link to her channel after this video's processed. Ooh, this one needs another. Aunt Beck is going to make postcards, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm playing along with Aunt Beck. So cool that she lets me do this. So Aunt Beck is live right now. So if you're not tuned in to her, go tune in to her because... She is calling the prompts, and I'm working along. How cool is this? Now I'm liking mine. I hope I can use markers the whole time because 
got a lot of area in here though. Yeah. Yes. I'm answering Aunt Beck. <laughs> You watch them after the fact. Oh, thank you, Serenity. Oh, okay. Dee Dee is just make something. I'm just going to keep putting flowers on mine until. <laughs> Let's see. What shall I do in here? Can I do? I have time. She's putting quilting lines in. I'm just going to draw lines fast here. Just to kind of fill in my some of this blank space. Uh, there and I lose I lose my way here. Let's see in here. <laughs> These dirty dozens are so fun to do. I enjoy everyone. Now, tomorrow I'm putting up a video of an old dirt, dirt, dirty dozen that I didn't, it, it, it just did not, it wasn't doing anything for me. And so I altered it this afternoon. But this is one of the first ones that I did with her, with Aunt Beck. And so you'll see it and fast forward tomorrow. I, well, I'm not done with it either. So it's really a dirty double dozen, <laughs> a double dirty dozen. And I had it in this big pad of paper and I got it out today and I, I started using up stuff on it, <laughs> but I like it better. Okay. Actually, I'm really liking this now. Maybe we should stop after the second prompt. I'm ready, 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 Aunt Beck, anytime. <laughs> I think she can hear me. I think she's listening in. So... I'm just filling in the spaces here. Cool. All right. Oh, no. I think I'm going to do a butterfly, Aunt Beck. Is a butterfly an animal? <laughs> I'm doing a butterfly. My butterfly is an animal. It is an animal. With Oh, okay. She's going to pick another one. I didn't think a butterfly was an animal anyway. <laughs> Oh, come on. I want to do the animal one. Oh. 
Thank you. I'm doing a butterfly. <laughs> She, her, she called out a heart shape and writing about love and I don't know. How, let's see, a butterfly blue, green. Oh, we need a different color of blue. Purple. Um, oh, where's my orange? My orange is about done though. Purple. We got pink. I don't purple and green. Nah. I have a terrible time picking three colors. Gold? I'm not sure how my gold will show up. But I'm going to use purple, gold. Where's that blue? Blue and gold. And I'd use the yellow, but it doesn't show up. I think I'll use blue, gold, and red. I'm going to have blue, gold, and red butterflies. <laughs> and they're animals. They are animals. Hi, Tina. Hi, Valerie. You're on my phone and Aunt Beth is on my iPad, Serenity says. <laughs> Let's see. Animal butterflies. Let's see. I'm losing my arrows, though. Let's draw. Let's see. I need a fairly big butterfly. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do... Butterfly in here. Does that look like a butterfly? I don't know. Red. And let's see. Let, I think I'm going to have to... I may only get one butterfly animal done. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to have him kind of flying in and behind and over these arrows. This is a blue butterfly with... Uh, I should put some gold on there. He's going to have a gold body. Uh, Maybe. I haven't used this gold for a long time. Yeah, that's worse. Okay, he's got gold wings. Let's give him some gold spots. Now, if we make postcards, I'm going to have to figure this out. I want to draw lines. A postcard is what? Four by six? I'm going to draw my lines now so I know... I'm going to make four by six postcards. Let's draw the lines with black. I may only get one butterfly on here. <laughs> but it's three colors. Let's see. I've got to go this way, I think. Six. Twelve. And eighteen. And. Did I make that? Right. No, I didn't. Six is down here. Six. Twelve. This reef ruler is always full me because I got that little space before the zero. And I'm always putting my ruler. <laughs> That's because I don't want to write love in hearts or whatever. <laughs> That's what Aunt Beck is doing. She called a different prompt. That I'm going to divide mine into postcards now. So I have. So I have a sense of what I'm putting on each postcard. And in fact, I'm just kind of cheating. <laughs> But Aunt Beth put quilt lines on hers. So I think she did, didn't she? Did you, Aunt Beck? I did not eat supper tonight, so I'm hungry. All right, there's six. So I need to go 
four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, that'd be twenty two, and yeah. I think I'm good here. Let's go up this way. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That doesn't seem right. Is that right? That's right. Sixteen. I can get. Oh, ladybugs. Let's see. Let's get it. Uh, 10, 14 there. So now I have a sense of the postcards that I'm going to send. I have three by, I think I've got about 24 postcards here. I could be wrong. Well, we'll count them in a minute. Maybe not quite that many. Maybe only 18. I might have to break out my ink. That would be pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six times three. I've got enough for 18 postcards. What are y'all saying to me? Hi, Ruby. Welcome, Ruby. Eating a banana popsicles. Um, yum. <laughs> she must have said that because I'm only putting one butterfly on here. It's just does not work for me. I might keep that postcard for myself. But I did it. I did it to do the prompt. The animal prompt with three colors. I think I'm going to probably get out my inks here. Uh, I, I'm feeling ink on this page. Oh, We'll wait till the next prompt. I haven't worked with my FW inks for a long time, and I think that would be fun to do. Let me reach over and get them while we're waiting. I'm ready, Aunt Beck, whenever you want to call the next one. <laughs> I love to be able to talk to her. That's cool. Uh, I'll reach over here and take my earbuds off for a minute. Yeah. i got to reach over here and get my inks out. Aren't those fun, my inks? Oh, I had them on a, a, a roundabout thing, but I left it over on this shelf. I got inks at last year when Hobby Lobby had their big sale. That's probably going on now, and I'm missing it because, well, you know. <laughs> but All right, I'm just going to put them down here on the floor because I don't have room on my desk, and we'll see what the next prompt is. So I've got some that uh, was sent to me by Jen Yates, I think, too. Easter egg holder. I think it was a spice holder, Serenity. Hi, Janet. She's saying, ah. <laughs> oh, Aunt Bex is Beautiful. Oh, I'm loving. I'm loving what she did with the quilt design. She's quilting. Oh, that's so cool, Aunt Peck. Oh, I'm loving it. Except I'm I'm not doing a flowery design on mine. I just did one butterfly animal. I feel like painting some of these flowers in while she's working. What shall I paint them in? Yellow? Orange? What color is this? Oh, she's almost done. I'll wait till the next prompt. Let me pick a color. I use greens. I got this pretty yellow color. I like that yellow color. 
All right, I'm ready anytime. Yellow, okay. Yellow works, doesn't it? All right. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> My camera may be a little goofy. Aunt Bex is really pretty. <laughs> Page cage, it's all the same. I'm reading the comments over in Aunt Bex's group. Uh-oh. Draw flowers. <laughs> Draw flowers. We need more flowers on here. Well, I could do them in red or what color. I don't have. I don't think I have much blue left here. Oh, I got another blue though here. Which one is it? That's the full one. Let's try this one. I'm, okay, we'll put some little blue flowers on here, maybe. We'll keep my yellow out. Yeah. We'll do little blue, little blue flowers. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Let's get a little brush out here. I am feeling this ink tonight. I am feeling like I want to do ink. Oops. Let's try. Let, well, we better try up here first. Can you see up there? Yeah. Let's do some little blue. Oh, how about some hydrangeas? That would be pretty, wouldn't it? I'm going to do hydrangeas. Now, I have to remember, I marked off my postcard here. So I have to kind of remember that I'm going to get 12 prompts on each postcard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I want to do hydrangeas. So they're going to be kind of little baby hydrangeas. But they'll be big on that postcard. So uh, i got to remember how they look. they got four little flowers. Four little petals. Oh, thank you, Serenity. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Let's see. So hydrangeas are a whole bunch of four little... Four little... The flowers have four petals, and there's a whole bunch of them put together. Oh, here comes a train. Can you hear the train, Aunt Beck? She probably can't. Boy, he's really tooting his horn, too. Oh, I'm loving this. You hear the train? <laughs> and Beck hears the train clear over on her channel. Aunt Becca's. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> she was telling about taking Greg when he was a young boy. For a car ride to get him to go to sleep. 
But the longer they went, the more awake he stayed. <laughs> so they did some long day trips, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm loving these hydrangeas on here. Oh, this is going to be a very springy postcard. Except for I don't like that butterfly. I think I'm going to put hydrangea over my animal, my butterfly animal. I don't like him down here. I'll probably keep this one for me. He's a butterfly on the other side of the hydrangea. This is going to be a big hydrangea. Well, no, I could make some little ones, I think. I love this this uh, pearlescent blue. It's so pretty. If you guys need to move on, you can move on without me, Aunt Beck. I'm just taking my time. Oh, I'm loving these. Aunt Beck, if you need to go on without me, go ahead. Well, I'm hungry. I'm... Kathy, bring me back some dinner. You're just a little spring chicken, Beck. Wait till you get... I'm talking to Aunt Beck on the other side of the... other side of the world. You think I could move faster? Go ahead. That gives me time to think about what I want to do. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. I'm not collaging anything down on here. It's all going to be paint and drawing. Yay! She's going to call another prompt. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I could do that. I better write these down because she'll get ahead of me. I got some paper. Scribble words or quotes. Q-U-O-T-E-S. I keep track of the prompts over here. I've got to finish my hydrangeas. I'm loving this. I am loving this. This is really working for me. What kind of... Let's see. I can think of words while I'm doing this. Words like... Uh, 
give me some ideas of what I can put, words that I can put on these postcards. I'm thinking. Spring. Spring. Bring on spring. That's what I'm going to put. Bring on spring. We are ready for our spring to come. And it's only February. <laughs> Valentine isn't even here yet. <laughs> I have still have friends in Madison. And I was reading about their email today. And uh, they've got icy sidewalks and icy driveways. And inspires. Inspire is a good one, too. Inspire is a good word. Yeah, up in Wisconsin, they're still fighting the snow and ice in their driveway. We're having some pretty, well, pretty nice weather for February. But I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. I need to get out to the post office tomorrow. Art, of course. Art. <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Beck is, is putting words on hers. I'm still doing my hydrangeas. I'm loving my hydrangeas. <laughs> These are hydrangeas, by the way. And they are... But uh, there are hearts that bloomed into flowers <laughs> when they got big. Oh, they had a greenhouse. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, hydrangeas are my favorite. I'll send you hydrangeas, Aunt Beck, at your second wedding. <laughs> I had a friend in Milwaukee that, where she rented, they, they grew hydrangeas, and they grew tall, really tall, beautiful hydrangeas every spring. I couldn't get them to grow more than a... 12 inches in a flower pot. That's. Oh, I'm loving these. Aunt Beck is saying when they're going live. Seven Central. Yes. <laughs> Seven thirty. Seven thirty. And oh, I want to see what Aunt Beck did. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. I'm watching Aunt Beck. <laughs> Yes, leather and jade. I might have to come back to the word prompt. 
because she's about ready to call another prompt. I think I'll come back to the word prompt. Aunt Beck did the most beautiful cards tonight. And while she's getting her cards, oh, well, there they are. Oh, they're so cool. Wow. This one down here I'm keeping for myself. That's interesting. Mine doesn't take that long. Huh. That's really interesting. Um, it does take some time, but it doesn't take hours. Okay, Aunt Beck, I'm coming back to the word prompt later because I'm ready, ready, ready. Ready, Aunt Beck. I'll type ready. Oh, Aunt Beck's is so cool. <laughs> Mary. Want me to write them down for you? You can. I am keeping track. I'm going to skip the word prompt and come back to it so I can be with her next one. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I'm not doing that. I rebel. I rebel. I'm going to go do my words. <laughs> I'm not painting gesso over my postcards. <laughs> I'm going to scribble my words. <laughs> I'm rebelling. Don't tell that back. <laughs> oh, dear. Words. You know what? I better dry. This ink is going to smear if I don't. Heat gun alert. She's talking about Murphy's oil soap. I'm not. I'm rebelling, Aunt Beth. There's no justice going to touch this. <laughs> no justice is going on my postcard. Period. Yeah, this ink is wet in spots. And that goes live at uh, 7 p.m. on Wednesday night at Beck's Creation. Yeah, call another prompt. I could do the words ones, but I think I'll come back to the words at the end. I think I'll do it at the end. Ew. Uh oh. Good. She's not going to make me glue anything down. Oh, 
See that? I don't want any hearts either, Aunt Beck. I suppose I could make some gold hearts. If if you're making me do hearts, I'll make them gold. Sunflower. Hmm. Did she say draw sunflowers? <laughs> no, let's see. Um. <laughs> Aunt Beck's giving up on me. Draw sunflower. Uh, huh. Uh, yeah, gold. <laughs> gold. Paint everything with gold. Except you, this gold is, um, I'm a little bit worried about putting this gold over this. If I send it in the mail because it's uh, water soluble. So I, ooh. How about just blot what you have? She said I could do what I wanted. Let's see. Let's put some gold flowers on here. I am just stuck on the flowers. We'll put some gold carnations. <laughs> she said sunflowers, but they don't inspire me either. So we're going for the gold carnations. Uh, maybe we'll tuck them in here. Maybe. Tuck them in and be in behind. This is going to be one flowery prompt, uh, pick 10. These are carnations, I'll have you know. Well, we can put it over that. Sort of, yeah. Oh! Draw sunflower. <laughs> Don't tell Aunt Beck my sunflowers turned into carnations. Let's see. I think I'll color them in. Oh, she's going to pull another one. And tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Oh, my. You let him get his sleep, Aunt Beck. He needs his rest. <laughs> We're distracting Aunt Beck. I'm liking these gold carnations. My sunflowers turned into gold carnations. Because they want to make you believe that you're getting what you asked for. <laughs> oh, we're at halfway point. Here, let's do it. Go on without me anytime, Aunt Beck. Wow, Scott Smart. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if I can do much. This postcard's a fail. I might put some gesso on this one. Go ahead, Aunt Beck. Go on without me. I'll catch up. Uh, hot pink circles. <laughs> hot pink. I've got hot pink on mine. 
I guess I can put some circles in there, though, after I get my flowers done. Hot pink circles. Just what we need. But they don't have to be big. They can be fill-in circles. And... Aunt Becca's rebelling. She's not going to draw her circle. She's going to paint them on. Aunt Becca's a rebel. I better hurry with my carnations here so I can put some circles in there. They're painting their circles on. I'm going to draw my circles on. Boy, these carnations are really... I'm trying to hurry and get done, so they're not... Actually, they're kind of cool. I've got one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> They're doing their hot pink circles. I want to do them. I'll come back to those others. Maybe I should just work on one or as many as I can. And then, okay, we're going to draw hot pink circles in here. That's actually red. I better get out the hot pink. What did I do with my mind? I guess that's hot pink. We'll use that. I got hot pink on there. Draw hot pink circles, they said. So here they go. Anybody who gets this card is going to want to send it back. <laughs> what? Hot pink circles on here. Where am I going to put them in here? I better leave room for something else. Yep. A train's come through. They keep coming through. And these, uh, there must be some engineers that really like to toot the horns. Because some of them are really loud when they come through. I like in the hot pink circles. And I gotta leave some room for the rest of my prompts. I'm not putting paint on mine. I haven't put ink on them, but not paint. No pink, no paint, no no uh no collage, I mean. If I paint, I don't know. Hot pink circles. Hot pink circles is the prompt. Am I way behind you guys? Who's watching? It's so fun to work along with Aunt Beck. It's fun. It's fun not um, when I'm not doing a live, but it's double fun to do a live with her. She calls the prompts a nice scribble. How about in here? Hot pink circles. They don't have to be over everything, do they, Mary? I think I'm done. I'm going back to my gold carnations here. Let's see if I can.
Wow. They can't do these flowers a little better. Well, Aunt Becca's dream. <laughs> I'm giggling at Aunt Beth. She wanted to make sure her postcard was legal. Somebody told me that I could put four or five stamps on an international envelope. And I'm going to check with my postmaster to see if I can do that. Because I'm always missing the international stamps when I need them. If I can just plop on four or five postage stamps, that would help me a lot. And she'll say, no, just buy a bunch of international ones while you're here. <laughs> But in a pinch, if I could, like I've been holding Sherry's doodle envelope. Ready, Aunt Beck? There are some beautiful pages that come out of these dirty dozens and pick tens. I'll tell you, I'm always amazed when I look at the pictures that are posted. I'm up with you, Aunt Beck, except for the words. Go ahead anytime. Don't wait for me. I'm going to gesso this card down here so that I can say I did the gesso one. Because I don't like it. I'm going to finish this one first. I'm listening to Aunt Beck. Okay. <laughs> she stuck her hand in paint. I'm doing that all the time. I do that all the time, and I get it all in here. I get it on my elbow, and then I go, oh, I can't go live because my hands are, I got to wash my whole, got to take a shower before I can do another live. <laughs> I'm actually liking this. I am liking it, except for this one down here. I'm going to put gesso on it. I should going to call another prompt. Hi, Joan. Ah! No. I don't either. No more circles. Enough with the circles. Bless her heart. He's... <laughs> I don't either. No random ugly colors on this page. I'm not going to ruin my postcards. And while she's picking, I'm going to gesso. Where's my gesso? I'm going to gesso that one I don't like. Well, there's my crimson. There he is. Oh, she got one. Oh, yeah, teacup. Oh, that would be cool. Her rooster's on. 
going to put my cards like this because the prompt is to draw a coffee or a teacup. And you know what? Huh. I think I think I'll draw it, but I might do a washout on it. Let's see. I'm going to draw teacups on here. They're going to go on here and I might do a wash around these. We'll see what we'll see what comes out. I really kind of like this. This is kind of cool. That one's a little different, but let's see. Janet's psychic with the prompts. That happens to me, too. <laughs> when you lag, when you lag, Janet types in the prompts, and the chat goes ahead. Ooh, that coffee cup has a big handle. I'll leave it. I'm really liking this because my flowers show up in the, in the coffee cup. I'm really liking this. I need a, here comes another train. They're really going tonight. I've never heard so many trains. They must have a lot of freight deliveries to do. You know, I should, well, I want, I, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll put a wash behind these, but we'll see what the other prompts are. I'm just getting the coffee cups on there. Boy, and he's really tooting his horn, too. They must be young engineers who like to toot their horn. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool prompt. I'm liking that one. Drop coffee or teacup. I'll bet Aunt Bex is looking nice. Oh, wow. Hers is so cool. Should I show you Aunt Bex? i got to get rid of the chat so you can see it. Isn't that cool? Look at what she's doing. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Woo! Wow. She's got quilt lines on hers. Yeah, my teacups and coffee cups are just kind of freehand, but that's what makes them fun. <laughs> Mary's making an excuse. <laughs> and they're probably hard to see, but I know where they are. And so when I come back, I'll paint around them, and then the flowers will... Or I could paint them with a wash. I'm going to jessel that one out so I can say I did the jessel prompt. I'm going to jessel this one out down here. Yeah, I think I will too. I'm going to do something. We'll see what the other prompts are. <laughs> I'm talking to Aunt Beth. <laughs> there. Now, while she's working, I'm going to turn it back this way though. While she's working, I'm going to jessel this one down here. I don't like it at all. I'll just jessel a part of it. Oh, Jerry's fine. She's just busy. Oh, I can't get this off. It's jesseled on there. Ew! Ew. Here, let's just use your finger. This is really, this is why I don't jessel much. I've got to dig this out. Where's my Aunt palette knife? I don't like this for the jessel. <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Thrift store mugs, Aunt Becca saying. <laughs> Ew. Ew. This is just so gunky goo. Break my palette knife here. Come on. <laughs> Isn't this fun? What? She'll get hers all colored by the time I get this yucky gesso out of here. What is this? Gunk. I think I'm going to put a wash over mine or behind them. I haven't figured it out yet. Mary, my hubby said you girls need to get along. <laughs> That's funny, Holly. You girls need to get along. But I'm just going to reach in here and pull it out. It's really gunky. It... That's probably the glue in the gesso. There. If... Where's my waste basket? <laughs> My waste basket. I pushed it way across the room there. I think that was the glue in the gesso that got. But it's all gunky in here, too. Ew. But not quite as. Uh, it's the container that I have it in. I'm, the, I'm going to use up what's in this container and then I'm going to get a glass jar. This coffee mate container just was the wrong thing to put it in. Where's my towels? Ah, yuck. Ew. All right. Well, I think what happened, so I don't think this is air airtight. I did laundry today, too. Yeah. Same, same with me, Aunt Beck. I had to do laundry. <laughs> I might put circles on this one down below. I honestly don't like it down here. Maybe some more hydrangeas and then I'll like it. There. Yuck. Now I need to wash my hands off. Good thing I keep hand sanitizer here. It dries out my hands, but I use hand cream afterwards. Oh, it's the worst feeling on your hands. Good night, Serenity. Yeah, I'll show my final piece in my live stream tomorrow. I'll probably cut them in, in, into postcards and uh, stamp them tomorrow on my live stream. Oh, but I have a Valentine project that I'm doing tomorrow. And Aunt Beck, I'm doing a special Valentine project tomorrow. I think. Yeah, because it's Valentine Day. I'm loving these coffee cups. I am loving. Are you coloring yours in, Aunt Beth? Oh, she, she's painting hers in. I'm going to do that, too. I'm loving what she's doing. Only I'm going to do mine with ink. Maybe the yellow ink. I'm going to paint mine with yellow ink. <laughs> Aunt Beck's going to keep going. All right, we're going to do mine in yellow. And the ink will, will be so transparent that it'll define the cup, but you'll be able to see the flowers behind it. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, 
I can't control when it buffers and when it doesn't. I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm going to have to call the phone company and have them up my speed again. I didn't want to do that, but I've got my, my Ethernet cable in. I got the new webcam. I don't know what else to do. I guess call the internet company and say, if you can give me a, a hundred, whatever it is, if you can upload my speed, just go ahead and do it. And if it still buffers, then I'm going to blame YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, I've got a new camera. I up my speed till the phone company won't give me any more. I put in Ethernet. <laughs> I'm loving these yellow teacups. I might have to make them look more like a teacup, though. because. But I'm loving them. I'm just putting a yellow background on them right now. I guess, let's see, I'll have 17. I guess I'll divide it by 16 of them and by two and have a giveaway. A giveaway tomorrow morning and a giveaway in my Friday night give away eight of them each time I'm giving I'm gonna send them out if they'll if they'll take them <laughs> if they'll take them I'm gonna send them out let's see I'm just going to I'm gonna paint my brush off on this let's just this is my this is my test one I guess down here I should draw a teacup on it though Yeah, I should do that too. She's going in with a darker marker. Let's see if I can't. I, I need a teacup down here. Not that one though. What did I do with my... That's not dry yet. Let's leave it. Let's see. She's doing a... Uh, maybe not marker. Maybe a darker ink. What's this? This is autumn gold. Let's see what color that might work. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's go back to my brush. What did I do with my brush? Did I throw my brush in there? I need another towel. Not me, Beth. Good. You give your yay giveaway. One day I hope I have to win one. Well, Holly, I'll tell you what. I'll just send you one. How's that? You won't even have to win one. I'll save one out for Holly just because. <laughs> just because, Holly, I'll send you one. We'll take it out of the Friday night giveaway. Don't tell them. They'll never know. <laughs> what did I do with my br other brush, though? I pulled it out to dry it off. Where did I put it? Here it is. <laughs> That's not dark enough, but I like it anyway. Maybe I should do the dark up here. Do the dark in here? Yeah. I'm loving that Aunt Beck does a lot of different things on hers because it gives me time to gives me time to play, which I like to do. This this uh Gold is not, it's a pretty gold, but it's not dark enough. I'm going to have to put some more colors in here. But if I put blue on there, it'll turn my cup green. So I'm thinking pink, red. I'll have to see what I have. I don't think I have any more pink. If I put blue in there, it'll turn my cups green. I'm thinking of. Oh, well, let's see what I have. I'm liking those teacups. They need to be defined a little more, though. Let's see. I've got yellow and gold and uh, orange. Oh, is this orange? What is this? 
This is, can't read it, Scarlet. We're going to put Scarlet. Oh. Jeez. She's moving on. Let's see. Let's. Oh, I'm loving that. And I can still see. You may not be able to see, but I can still see the flower behind it. Oh, I'm loving it. Yes. Aunt Beth, these are turning out. I'm loving them. Yeah. Yeah, the prompts weren't well the prompts weren't set for postcards. If we were doing something different than postcards, the prompts would be fun. Oh, I'm loving these. They look like soup bowls. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah, I'm loving mine. Except I got to put handles on these soup bowls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see what the next prompt is. I'm loving it. I have to do the handles, but I might hold it for the next prompt. Maybe it'll say use use blue or green or I'm gonna paint this teacup down here. Right there. This is my gessoed one down here. I'll keep this one in my stash. <laughs> well, it needs to be rounded off a little. Ready, ready, ready. I'm ready, Aunt Beth. Ooh. I might do that, Aunt Beck. Oh, I've got a pretty green color. Ready, Aunt Beck. Add a bird. Add a bird. Oh, I think I can put a blue bird on these. Right on the tip of the, on the rim of the teacup. I'm going to draw them in first. Add a Add a bird. Oh, look. This one's dribbling. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll just smear it in. This one will have a nice background to it. Add a bird. I better dry these. Wait a minute. Add the bird on the rim of your teacup. Okay, we're going to put our little birds on here. Maybe like he's drinking or he wants to drink out of it. Make him a little happy bird here. Oh, hers is going to fly away. My bird is not working there. Where's that? <sighs> I could put the bird in front. I need, a, I need to. Uh, I didn't like that. Add a bird. See, I've already got blue on there, or I'd use blue. And you know what? I need... I threw all my markers. My markers... Uh, hmm. I threw them all in a bin today. And that's cheating. Got a blue marker here. 
Write the word bird. Here's a bird. Because he's going to go off, though. <laughs> and Vic says he's kitty. I'm not sure I like my birds. My birds are singing. My birds are going to sing. My birds are going to sing it back. La 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 la. They're tweeting. My birds are tweeting. Except he's bigger than the cup. <laughs> what is Holly doing? Holly, you didn't say that in here, did you? Egg drop soup is what she said in here. <laughs> yeah, I have to put the handles on here, Holly. It does look like egg drop soup. <laughs> you just wait. They'll get prettier and prettier by the time I'm done. Uh. Do you turn your wireless off on your computer? You should be turning off your wireless on your PC. I turn my wireless off. All right, we're putting teacups. We're putting handles on my teeth. Well, you should turn off your wireless though. You go on. I'm just playing. I'll do the prompts on these two to get them done, and then I'll go back and finish the others. Yeah. <laughs> go outside go outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go outside. You know what? I'm not sure that this marker is going to last. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to paint with this. Well, I could paint with, can we call my fine line paint applicator a skewer? I'm going to use my fine line paint applicator, but that'll be last. Paint the moon. Paint the moon. I'm not going to paint the moon. I'm going to use my fine line paint applicator as a skewer. I'm putting, painting the handles of my cup gold. And I should probably put some gold rims. And you just wait. These will look more like, these will look less like egg drop soup and more like uh, teacups any minute now. <laughs> any minute now. I think the yellows are too bright on mine. And I missed one here, didn't I? I missed one there. <sighs> I've got to go back and do something about that yellow. Um, maybe get that the orange gold out again. I thought that's what I put in there. I don't like it. Uh, what do I have? The green? 
we'll save that out. I've got another green. I think this is black. That's it, I'll just smear black. This is indigo, that might be pretty. Indigo. Indigo. I might bump my camera. I'm patient, Aunt Beck. Where's my paintbrush? Now what kind of soup is it with its indigo soup? Coffee. It's not soup at all. It's coffee. Blue coffee. I'm liking this a lot better. Yeah, this works for me. I don't like my birds, though. I don't know. I might paint them out. I might come in at a different time with my birds. We'll leave them there now. But they're going to get kind of painted over. They're not too bad. They just need a little work. Aunt Peck went quiet. Is she buffering? No, she's working. I'll just turn it upside down and work upside down. Worked upside down. I'm liking mine, except i got to dry this ink, though, before I do anything more to it. I'm liking it now. Oh, thank you, Janet. Judy says, you could use your skewer to put the steam from your cough, hot cocoa. What a great idea. I didn't paint this cup. Steam. Of course, steam. You know, this needs to be. Yeah, that came from Judy. You got, that was Judy who suggested that, Aunt Beck. Judy Umfleet. Steam on the coffee. That is an excellent idea. Judy, you win the Good Idea Award tonight. I'll send Judy a postcard, too. Judy, you want a postcard from me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, she passed it along. It looks oriental, Holly. So I got one post. One of these postcards is going to go to Judy, and one's going to Holly. And then... Um, I'll give some away tomorrow morning in my give my Valentine giveaway. <laughs> and uh, I like that idea. And then I'll give some away Friday night. Actually, this is an indigo blue that I'm painting in here, but I need might need to go in and make it brown. What is she doing? Oh, she's going to do the heart in her coffee. What a great idea. I'll do that in my cocoa or coffee or whatever this. This is blue, but I'm going to go back in with brown. Oh, Aunt Beck. I'm copying it. <laughs> oh, I love Aunt Beck's coffee cup. Well, she's got sausage on hers. I need to. I need to. Uh put saucers on my underneath my coffee cups here we will do that that's what's wrong with mine they don't have any saucers i might i might well if i put black on here will that make my blue brown 
This is a really dark blue though. What? I never use a saucer either. <laughs> Aunt Beck says she never uses saucers. But that's what makes hers really nice. Okay. I am going to see if I have a brown here. And <laughs> Beck's laughing. <laughs> I need to find, I don't think I have a brown in this. I might have to go across the room and get brown. I got blues and oranges and reds and, oh wait, what's this? This is a brown. And of course, I should probably wash out my brush before I dip it in there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not repeating that, Aunt Beck. <laughs> I'm laughing at Aunt Beck. <laughs> All right, we're going to put brown over our blue here. Yeah, it'll just be a really dark cocoa coffee. How do you want your coffee? Make it black, please. kind of liking that but I will go back in and put saucers on mine I need saucers underneath my cups here I put milk I treat myself with half and half every now and then Uh, I should probably check my sugar, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I we have we drink two percent milk here. I put two percent milk in it. Is she doing a heart in hers. I don't know if I have enough room for hearts in mine. I could put birds in it. <laughs> okay, okay. I got to figure out what. I'm going to paint that bird out, I think. I don't like my birds. We'll leave them there for now. <sighs> or they have to be prettied up a little. All right, let's wash this brush out. A crow. <laughs> well, mine look like crows. Blue crows. Heat gun alert. <laughs> that that hand's getting tired. Uh oh, that coffee's coming out of the that coffee's falling out of the mug here. Wish I shouldn't have tipped that. Yeah, I spilled my coffee. <laughs> Dripping coffee. Holly says, I have them both on tablets. Susan says, I have Mary here on my tablet and Becky on my phone. It's like a hangout. Well, Becky and I and Linda will be doing a hangout February 21st. It's a Thursday at 10 a.m. Central time or um, Eastern time. It's so fun that let Aunt Beck lets me do this.
I'm not sure everybody let me do this. It looks pretty fun to work with. Aunt Beth, you just wait till you see what I'm going to use. <laughs> I've already decided what I'm going to use. Well, you know, I need to put more flowers on these coffee cups. I'm Well, I might need a refresher, too, come to think of it. <laughs> she said she might need a refresher. Aunt Beth's going to read her chat. That's a good idea, I think. We should put it on our community tab, Aunt Beth. Yeah, I will too. Linda seems pretty, um, uh, what do you want to say? She can handle it if they had a breakdown. She's pretty smart about that stuff. Let's see. I want to define my flowers a little bit more. I think I'm going to get out my black again. Except for, I'm going to reach over and get some black markers, some new ones. I threw all my markers in a bucket. And I, because I need to go through and I think I'm going to start throwing out my old ones. I'm getting so many that I'm using up and I hate to throw them out. Maybe I should have a list of things you can do with dried up, dried up uh, markers. <laughs> I feel like a crime just throwing out my dried out markers. That's what recycling does to you. Now, I'm going to have to start pretty soon. I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, the, you, you can do dip them in paint, but yeah, I was making dots, but you know, I do that so much. <laughs> All right, we're going to, and I'm going to start drawing some saucers. I don't know about those birds. I, I'm not happy with them. I'm not happy with my birds. Yeah, I get bored with the dots. I think I'm going to put my other birds down in front of the cup and the saucer once I get it on there, but... Yeah, and the birds are, I'm not sure what about these birds. But i I got to have some saucers on here. Aunt Beck's hands are cramping. You know, my hands don't get tired until early in the morning. I wake up and I have to do some finger exercises to get my hands going again. 
But I figure if that's the least of the problems that I have, I shouldn't complain. I mean, if that's the worst of it. See, I guess the saucer should come like this. Should have a little. Uh -uh. Well, that's good. Wow. Yeah, Aunt Beck was talking about smoking. The vaping. Yeah, I, I question it. Vaping. Oh, yours are really nice, Aunt Beck. I'm loving them. <laughs> we got five prompts left. <laughs> I'm still deciding what I want to do with these silly birds. Oh. Oh, that was prompt 10. We only got two prompts left. Yay. I'm drawing saucers, but I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm going to have to paint them in. I'm doing saucers on all my postcards. Yeah. Cancer's no fun. They're talking about cancer on Aunt Vix. Wow, cool. I'm ready, Aunt Beck. I'm just playing. Prompt 11's coming up. Paint. <laughs> All right, where's the blue? Oh, <gasps> fine line paint applicator. <laughs> Yeah. Last. Do it last, Aunt Beck, because it has to dry. I think I'm going to write bring on spring. No, this is coffee. This is coffee. Ooh, Aunt Beck sounds pretty. She's going to do a wave. Let's see what she's doing. 
I gotta watch Aunt Beck. Oh, her words are gonna come out of her coffee. Oh, I wonder if I can do that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yes. I kind of like that. I don't know if I have room to do my, I think she's doing, um, I'm doing smaller postcards, I think, than she is. I don't know if I can get that all on my, I'm going to finish my saucers. This is dry enough down here. I'm going to have to fix these birds. I don't like them. That's what I'm using. You know what I want to do is I'm going to fill in the background on these and that will make my coffee cups pop. I'm not sure where I'm going to put my words. Fine line paint applicators, you've got to do last if you're putting fine line paint applicator on here. It's really cool, Aunt Beck. I'm really loving what Aunt Beck is doing. You can change the shape of your wave, she says. This is a dirty dozen. Uh, who was that artist who did all those soup cans? Uh, why can't I pull these things off of my brain? Who was the artist who did all the soup cans, Aunt Beck? Some people just use the liquid they make. Andy Warhol. Thank you, Aunt Beck. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Andy Warhol. They're telling me, hi, Gloria. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Aunt Beck. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> you make sprays with your dried up markers, Susan? I might do that. Most of my dried up markers are black, but 
I could bet I could get some spray out of them. Um, gray spray. <laughs> of course. Why not? We can make gray spray. I might find a use for it. Let's make a prompt. Use gray spray. <laughs> Andy Warhol. I, you know, it's the funny because grunge, yeah, grunge, grunge markers, <laughs> grunge spray. Um, Aunt Becca's seen grunge. You know, it's it's funny because when I can't remember things like Andy Warhol, like I couldn't remember, I could see his face so plain, and I could see all the art he did, but I could not pull his name out of my brain. Isn't that weird? Is that a sickness? <laughs> okay, now, I would really worry if I saw Andy Warhol art every day and couldn't remember. But, you know, you see Andy Warhol once in a blue moon. You're doing yours on copy paper. You would be surprised what colors. Oh, really? You cut off the ends of your sprayer tubes. Doing mine on coffee paper, newbie Cheryl says. Susan says, yes, a little on a slant. Just got these with new, oh, they're talking about the spray bottles. If they cut off the, the tips of them, the ends of them. You know, I went to Sally's beauty shop thinking that I could get some neat spray bottles, some two ounce ones. I ended up with, this was the only one they had. It's like 10 ounce or 16 ounce. <sighs> I wanted two ounce ones. <laughs> and I saw a two ounce spray at the Dollar Tree, but you had to buy, it came in a pack of three and you had to buy the other two, which were just plain bottles. So I didn't buy them. I know, go on the internet, go on Amazon. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to break down an order from Amazon. One more saucer. Did I get them all on there? This saucer needs some help down here. This whole postcard down here needs help. And my little birds, I'm going to have to jazz up those birds. I'm not sure about putting birds on my... We'll jazz them up, though. We'll jazz them up. I'm going to paint the background on this. I don't care what the next prompt is. And I'm going to do fine line paint applicator. Probably the words like what Aunt Beck is doing. Only, Oh, no, we use the fine line paint applicator to make uh, steam coming out of the coffee. All right, I'm going to paint the background for next. First and next. And I think I'm going to go with this. Let's put this one away. I think I'm going to go with that pretty, not too dark of a green. I've got a pretty light green. And I think that'll go pretty with the red, but I could be fooled. We'll see. We will see. I'll test it down here. I'll test it down here first. And I got this ruler out to draw those lines. It's in my way now. I'm really loving these, Aunt Beck. I'm loving them. Let's put green in there. And then I'll swish my brush. Is this... Go ahead. Oh, I'm doing backgrounds. I'm using that one. Butterfly. I already did butterflies. I painted them out, though. I'm doing the background, Aunt Beck. <laughs> this is a green gold. Yep. Yep. Mine's a background. It's just what I needed. I needed the background. came right in the spot. 
minute of time. Oh, this one doesn't have a saucer. I need a saucer. I need to help those birds, though. I don't know, those birds. Or do a background. <laughs> I'm painting in my background. Doodle. Aunt Vic says, when in doubt, doodle. My coffee cups look like noodles. All right. Uh, get a saucer the wrong way here. I kind of like how the flowers are showing through. I think I'll go back and then enhance them. see because see these this is wet though I don't want to touch it while it's wet I'll put my scissors away got markers out here let's put some of this stuff away Mary I'll keep my black marker out where's my marker box yeah I want to do a valentine project tomorrow morning and I know what I want to do and I'm hoping I can get it together enough This way to paint in the background. That one needs red. I keep <laughs> keep bypassing it. And I, and the handles need some help. But we'll do the backgrounds here first. And then I'll go back in and That's what I'm making my background at back of spring green. Looks yellow on the This is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. Probably use all my ink here, though. So, I don't think I'm going to give away the bluebird ones. I'm going to leave my birds off. Mine's watercolor paper, so I think I'll be fine, but I do too. Yes, 35 cents versus 50 cents. Yeah, I would put it on something. Mixed media paper. Let's see, I'm not going to send out three of them. I'm, this one where the gessoed, I'm not sending out. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I got 18. <laughs> ah. 
I'm laughing at Aunt Beck. Stop singing. <laughs> I'll have 13 to give away. And I might keep one for my... Well, I'm going to keep three, though. So 13 to give away. I'll give away six in the morning session. And six on Friday night will be 12. Maybe seven on Friday night. I'm using all my green ink. That would just be an excuse to go buy more, right? Except they don't have this FW at Hobby Lobby anymore. They got that Amsterdam. <sighs> I can get it from Dick Blick. A Pusca pen. Aunt Beck's going to use a Pusca pen. I am liking this. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Wild card. Photo. I think I got almost all the prompts. I don't have the words on there yet, but I'm getting there. I gotta do the background. I'm not gonna do the birds. I think the birds, these two I'm not sending, that one's I'm not sending. So that leaves 15 and I'm giving one to Holly and one to Judy. So that leaves 13 and I'll give away six tomorrow morning because it's valentine day and uh i'll give away seven friday night if they want them <laughs> i don't know if i can give them away <laughs> uh, mary what's wrong with your art to you just give it away <laughs> ah it's my fun it's my fun. Giveaways are really fun to do. But I'm really slow on getting things mailed out. That's my that's my uh, fault. All righty. Now, I, I'm really wanting to do more. I'm loving those hydrangeas, but I think I'm going to bring them out a little more. I think I'm not done with my hydrangeas. And I need to put red there. Before I put my inkles away, where did I get this one? Down here, way down, way down there. Let's wash out my brush. Ooh, scrapbooking. <laughs> I'm laughing at Aunt Beck. All right. So I healed that one. Now I'm going to go back in over my hydrangeas again because I want to with that pretty blue, pearlescent blue. Where is that? Is this it? Yeah. The blue needs, needs to come again. I don't think I used this brush, though. I used the smaller brush. What did I do with it? It's in here. Was this it? I think that was it. Yeah. Let's... let's 
Hi, Dranger Isis. Hi, Dan. Hi, hi, Dranjerize it. We are hydrangering it. Rising it. We're putting more hydrangeas on it. Mary, you are you I'm not putting birds on mine, Holly. I don't like my birds. I'm I'm leaving the birds off. I'm leaving off the birds. My birds are, are sorry little birds. I've got two and I don't like them. I like my hydrangeas. I'm hydra I'm the birds got the axe. <laughs> tweet tweet. <laughs> I'm putting more hydrangeas on it just because I like this. I like them. They don't look like a pair of hawks. Ew. Mine are four by six, which is kind of a weird size for my stamp. Oh, hers is bigger. Mine's four by six, Aunt Beck. Oh, what was that? That was Aunt Beck. That was Aunt Beck. Dinging. Let's hide dandrize them. <laughs> Keeps coming back. Her happy mail video. I'm going to sneeze any minute. Now remember, these will be cut. So I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! Excuse me. I, this needs some hydrangeas. Scat, <laughs> scat, scat. <laughs> and I guess scat or bless you. She's cutting hers apart. Mine are mine are far from done. Mine are far from done. I might have to finish these tomorrow morning. Except I want to do that Valentine project tomorrow. We're gonna hide that saucer behind this flower. Really, I should be doing this with paint rather than my inks. But I don't have pearlescent paint. <laughs> okay. Of course, you can add that medium to them, but I don't have any of that either. I guess I could put some more in here. This poor little cup down here just really got neglected. <laughs> I'm giggling at Aunt Beck. German. German for God bless. Gesundheit, Judy says.
you know, I wonder if I paint my birds with this pearlescent. Let's, let's paint my birds with this pearlescent blue. They're not going out, but they need help. My birds need help. I got, I did the prompt uh, on two of the cards. <laughs> so I'm going to say I did the prompt. You know, some purple. Do I have any purple? I think I used it. Some purple would look pretty on here too for those hydrangeas mixed in with them. I think I used my purple. I think it's gone. I don't see it here. If I have it, it's... That's my green. Now let's just continue with the blue, Mary. I might put inks on my list. And cut back your cups are beautiful. Mine are just real fast teacups. They're not. That was a fun, it was fun in the end. The prompts were. Let's turn this around. Yeah, it sounds more like art journaling, the prompts. Maybe a pick 10 at back instead of a dirty dozen. <laughs> Floating cup. Yeah, draw some lace. That's what I'm going to do, lace tablecloth. Of course. It needs a lace tablecloth. Mine's far from done. I got a lot I want to do yet to it. It's really fun to do these in multiples. Like I've got 18 cards here. And if I goof up on three of them, then I can just not send them. And then I have plenty left over that it takes a little longer. Aunt Beck is going and getting something. I don't know what it is. So this will be a good time to tell you again about the hangout that Aunt Beck and I are doing on Aunt Beck and Linda McAllister on Linda McAllister's channel, February 21st at 10 a.m. Central Time. It's 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. She's talking about the weather. Oh, <laughs> she put her hand up to close to the phone and it scared me because my hand was right there.
my hand was over the phone and she put her hand up there and it scared me. Oh, like she was reaching up and going to grab me. <laughs> I have a paintbrush in my hand. I have a paintbrush in my hand. Watch out, Beth. You'll get blue. You'll get blue. I'll paint your hand to fluorescent blue if you don't be careful. She, it scared me, though. It scared me. It's off over to the side. You can't see it. <laughs> I think this will make more sense once I cut them apart. But I'm going to put a lace tablecloth. I'm I'm ready for lace. I'm ready to do some fine line paint applicator work on these. But I need to do something more to the handles. And I don't know. I guess I'll leave the saucers. I could make the saucers red too. But that's an awful lot of red. But I'm not sure. I, well, I guess I do kind of like them that white color. I kind of like them like that. I think I'll go back in with my hot pink, though, and emphasize those flowers a little bit more. Or should I just leave them in the background? That's what they were back then. Let's see. I'm ready to do some fine... Well, no. I'm not happy with the handles. What shall I do? Maybe, hmm. Hi, Janet. Yeah, thank you for posting that, Janet. Post. Hi, Mark. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Janet. The saucers look like they're red and white. Yeah, they, yeah. I should probably leave them that way, huh? Because it kind of brings out the, the pink. We had a doodle. What we'll do it with pink or draw pink, draw flowers or do something with oh, circles with hot pink. But I'd already put my hearts into flowers, and that's what you see on here. I think I'm gonna leave the saucers white, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the handles. The handles aren't doing it for me, they're they, they're that gold marker and uh except for this one down here. You can't see it. This one down here has a red handle. Greenery through the handles. Yes, leave the saucers. Greenery through the handles. I feel like the handles should maybe be a lighter color. Because they do, well, no, not lighter, because they blend in. And I don't want to make them blue because they'll look like the hydrangeas. <sighs> you know what I need to do? I need to get out my gold paint. I need to, I wonder, I wonder if I could, I think I have, I don't know how it'll go through the mail, but if I let it dry real good, I've got this Elmer's gold glitter glue and if I do that the very last on the handle and around the rim of the cup that's what I'm going to do and hopefully it'll go through the mail without much problem hopefully that's has anybody ever used this Elmer's glue glitter Elmer's classic glitter glue it says it's new I got it I think at Walmart it's a big bottle of it I'm going to put some white going on your uh, postcards. Cool. Well, I need to start. Let's see. I'm going to put white. Okay, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some white lace tablecloth. <laughs> She's talking to me. Aunt Beck is talking to me. I'm putting a white lace tablecloth in the background here, kind of, on the table. Just kind of putting in a little, it doesn't even look lacy. I mean, it looks lacy, but it's just, yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing, Aunt Beck, only it's, not, it's going on a tablecloth, kind of. 
and I don't know if you guys can see what I did there. Let's see, I did it right here. And you brought, you can't see it, but let me hold it up closer. See? See? <laughs> see? See, Mommy? See? Whoops, where? There. Then, then, there. Up. Over. This way. That way. Up. <laughs> Down. How do you get it centered on this camera? There. There. Thanks, Aunt Beck. Yeah. Yeah, mine looks like they're floating too, so the lace helps. And I'm just going to kind of put some little circle things, little lacy circles with my fine. That that'll take all night for that to dry. I'm liking that. I am liking that. And then I can put words up at the top. Ooh, I put my hand in the blue. My hydrangea is not. Let me blot that. Here, let me blot this. Yeah. 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 This is a lot of steam. That's really hot drink. All right. I might have to redo that up in there. Paint the cocoa black or brown again and redo my steam. I'm not sure I like it. My lace is just scribbles, Aunt Beck. Don't worry about your lace. And I didn't finish the lace over here. What are you guys saying to me? Buffering here. Oh, they're buffering on. They're buffering. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to call the phone company and have them up my speed. <sighs> Did you? Yeah, I guess I will. I hate to do that. Huh. Well, I at least got rid of the lost data connection. If it buffers, I don't know. Buffers. I'm loving the steam, except for I'm going to redo it there and there because it it looks like a melted marshmallow in my coffee. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm loving them. What, what is she using? Yours is so pretty, Aunt Beck. She's got hers all cut apart. Mary says, I'll finish it tomorrow. <laughs> you know, this would probably look better if I would draw a line. I'll finish it tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, mine don't need to dry all night. Especially since I'm going to put glitter glue on them. I think I'll write my words with my black fine liner. What did Aunt Beck write? She wrote, hello, friend. I guess I'll write, hello, friend. <laughs> it's so original. <laughs> Oh. oh, wow. She's getting really neat artist trading cards. Whoops, there goes the saucer. That's why I go live all the time, Aunt Beck. I'm finishing projects. I got so many going. I'm trying to get them done. I had my shadow bot, my two-dimensional uh, assemblages out today. I'm going to finish that. Started it last August. Had loads of fun. Aunt Beck's getting ready to leave. Those cards are beautiful. Cup of coffee. Oh, I should give one to Aunt Beck. Well, there goes another one. <laughs> extra one that I had because I had 13 I'll send one to Aunt Beck yeah I'll do that Aunt Beck you know I should have done my steam after I did my rims Oh, I'm not tired, Aunt Beck. <laughs> Had loads of fun, Aunt Beck. Thank you so much. Good night, Aunt Beck. <laughs> and be up at four. Good night. I love, I love Aunt Beck. She's so cool. I think I'll do. Bye, Aunt Beck. She signed off. I want to turn off my phone. Put it, put it where it's safe. Now, you know, I should have done my steam after I did my words and my rim. I might have to go back and fix, but I'm going to get my black, and I'm just going to hand write hello, friend, on these. And we'll see how good I do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the gold on it, and then everything I'll have to dry. Uh, if I can do it without getting my hand in paint. Oh, this might be a disaster. Hello. Maybe I'll just write hello. That's about all I have room for. H 
E L L. I guess that O could go over the steam. These are going to be very hand done. Don't expect masterpieces. I'll have to tell them that when I have the contest. Well, they'll see them, but hello. H E L L. And I'm holding my fine line paint applicator about an inch above the paper when I do that. Uh, this one I drug through the paint, and that was not a good thing to do because it'll clog up your tip. All right, hello. H. Aunt Beck's going to sit and color her other card. L, L, O. That says hello, believe it or not. I might not send out all of these. I'll probably pick the better of them. And have the contest for the better ones. Because, you know, you don't want to send out cruddy stuff. Hello, hello, hello. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it in the morning. H-E-L, after the paint dries. Hello. H. Whoops. E L. I might have to put some more paint in this black one. That's an E. My paint's starting to skip. I think I'll stop and put some paint in it. I'll set that aside. Hi, Aunt Beck. Do they scream Andy Warhol? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Aunt Beck, are you going to color? Are you coloring in your, um, your card? You're just beautiful. Um, I'm going to put some more of this black paint in this. I don't know what I used it for, but I filled it the other night from this, from this paint bottle. And let's see if I can put the rest of it in there. There's not a whole lot left. The fine line paint applicators hold an ounce and a half, and these are two ounce paint bottles. So I get another half ounce, except there I probably didn't fill it completely. Yeah. You just make a mess, Mary. That's what you do. Let's clean it up. Yours, your coffee cups are so pretty, Aunt Beck. You do such a nice job. Mine are just kind of free form. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Here's the postcard if you want it. <laughs> Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, I got some, some spattering on the back, but I'm going to leave any spatters. H E L L O. I'm getting tired of writing hello. H E L L O. <laughs> H. Who'd you get that postcard from? Oh, that was from that dingy Mary Abrams. Well, you know what? This is, what was the prompt though was to scribble words. This is kind of scribbling a word. H-E-L-L-O. H-E-L-L-O. Now, this, this paint will definitely have to dry, though. Let's pull it up a little. You might see the camera wiggle because I'm going to prop this against the...
propping it against the camera pole there. H E. I'm covering up my birds. <laughs> I'll send these to myself. I'll send them to myself. 35 cents to me. H E L L O. H E L L O. Need some more in there. No, oh, I'm not. Oh, I got a. I got some black paint there. Let's let's make let's bring this over there. H E L L O. All righty. Now the only thing I want to do to this is the gold glitter paint, and then this will have to dry overnight. And I'll cut them apart and stamp the back of them tomorrow. I got a postcard stamp. Just, you know, what a postcard stamp looks like with the says postcard. And All right. So now let's see what this glitter glue looks like. I don't know what it looks like. Let's try it out here. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Let's see if I can. No, we don't want it on the path. Let's move this. Let's move it. Okay. I want to have to start. I think I can start at the top and I turn it upside down. You might see the camera jiggle. All right. Because what I want to do is the cup handle. Ooh, hold it a minute. It's kind of hard to squeeze out. The cup handle. And if I'm right about glitter glue, it will settle down. It will settle down as it dries because it's real puffy. And I think it will settle down as it dries. It dries flat. I think I'll even do the base of the saucer with glitter glue. I'm liking that, but it's hard to get it out of this. It's hard to come out of the, squeeze out of the, this is Elmer's glue, glitter glue. I got it at Walmart. Yeah. I'm going to call that. You know, I think if I get a hold of my, one of my little paintbrush handles here and maybe spread this out a little. There. Yeah, and Beck, if you would do that, I'd appreciate it. You don't, oh, look, I got a black spot there. I'm going to have to paint that. I got to keep my hands out of the paint. You don't have to, Aunt Beth, but that would be nice if you would. The rim of the cup, the rim. I'll, I'll fix this. I'll put a hydrangea or something over that. I'll have to go back in and mend some of this stuff before I send it out. Because it's so wet. And then the handle. And I'll probably go in and draw around the handle again once the... Glitter glue is all dry. Tomorrow morning. We'll do our touch-up tomorrow morning on it. The rim of the cup. Oh, I think I'm kind of liking it. It's really hard to squeeze this glitter glue, though. It, it, it's really hard to get out. If they have this for kids... A kid could not squeeze this out. It's hard. It's taken all the strength in my wrist to get this glitter glue coming out. Maybe they don't mean this for kids. I don't know. But I thought that's where I got it was in the kids at Walmart. 
I think a kid would be frustrated with trying to get the glue out because I'm getting frustrated. It's taking two of my hands here just to get it to come out. Let's see, around the rim. A handle. And tomorrow I might put some more flowers or something on the coffee cup itself. It's got flowers in the background, but it needs it seems needs something else on the cup. So I might play with it some more tomorrow when it's dry. Now, as I'm getting further down, as I'm using more glue, it seems to come out a little easier. So it might have just needed some air in there. But I am using both hands to get this glue out of the bottle. So if they expect a child to use this, I think they would be running off to mommy or daddy and having them help. And you guys probably can't see the sparkle, but it's really sparkling where I put this. Let's see if I can hold it up if you'll see it. Well, let me do this last one and I'll turn it around. And thank you, Aunt Beck, for letting me play along with you. I don't think there are a lot of people who would let me go on live at the same time that that uh, that they go live and play at the same time. I don't think there are many people who'd let me do that. So that's really generous of you to, to let me play along with you live. I think some people would be offended. I wouldn't mind. If any of you want to go live and play along with my doodle prompts, Aunt Beck, if you want to doodle, at the same time that I'm giving my doodle prompts, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to leave that flat. I'm going to turn this around and see if I can hold it up. It's really a sparkly. Can you guys see the sparkle? I don't know if it shows too much. It, it, it shows a lot on the... It looks kind of flat on the screen. It kind of got, has some sparkle. Let me if I tip it toward the light. But it is sparkly. <laughs> it's just fun to do it. That's all there is to it. It's just having fun. It's just having fun. Susan says it won't dry. Oh, yeah, it'll be. Oh, I think it'll be dry in the morning. I use glitter glue, and I usually leave it dry overnight, and it's dry enough. It's dry enough to work with. And, uh, yeah, I think, well, no, I've never used Dilmer's glue, but the I have other glitter glue, that cheap stuff that you buy in those little, I buy that at Walmart, too. <laughs> in the child section, they got those smaller glitter glue bottles. And I've used it before, and it's dry in the morning. I use it in my art journal. We'll see what it's like tomorrow morning. It may not completely cure for a couple days, but it'll be a couple days before I get these sent out anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> I think it'll be dry enough to work with. It's really sparkly. I wish you guys could see how sparkly it is. We'll see what it's like tomorrow morning.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to spread this one out a little more with the end of my paintbrush. I missed this handle. Spread that out a little more too. Kind of liking it. I wish you guys could see the sparkle. It is really sparkly. It's really sparkly, honest. <laughs> but I don't think you guys are seeing it. I'm not seeing it in my laptop. Boy, they must have a lot of glitter in here. Now, I was watching Barb at Jago's today, and she was demonstrating a glitter paint. It's got it's a new product that she has, so I can't even begin to tell you the name of it. But uh, um, and you know this blue too, all these hydrangeas that is done with pearlescent blue. So that's kind of shiny, and I'm not sure. You might see it a little on there. But these cards are real. They're free. Free. <laughs> Think of this art as being kind of like freestyle, free form. I don't mean these to be precise. In other words, I scribbled the cups on there freehand. <laughs> It isn't like I spent hours and hours painting them. Boy, this is really hard to get this glue out of here. I would not recommend this for a child in this bottle. The glitter it is nice, but a child, even, even a 12-year-old would have trouble squeezing it out of this bottle. You have to have strength. And I do have it open. I have it open as far as it'll go. Well, that's a little better. I opened it up a little more. That's a little better. Maybe I didn't have it open far enough, but it's still pretty hard. I still would not recommend it for... They need, a, they need something easier if they're going to use glitter glue. It's still a little hard to get out. But then maybe this is not for a child. <laughs> for a young child. Yeah, I don't like my birds. I'm keeping the bird ones for myself. I don't like them. I'm not sending them out. Yeah, spread that out a little. The glue is really thick. It's a nice thick glue. But I think it'll dry. It'll dry uh, flat. It's kind of puffy. But if it's like all the other glitter glues that I've used, it will dry flat. Yeah, let's put a bottom on here. I got them up there, I guess. Yeah, it's it's kind of yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to squeeze these. It's getting easier as I use more of it because I think it's getting more air in there. And I did loosen this cap a little more. 
that might have had something to do with it, but it's still pretty hard to get these out. Oh, let's move this up a little. You might see my camera shake a little because I'm moving, moving it against the... But it is pretty. I'll give it that. It's pretty. I hope it dries as pretty as it looking now. I did forget, I forget things. I've got the saucer up here. I like the idea of doing it. It's really dressing up these postcards. Let's see. Making sure. Oops. No, I got it there. I got it there. Got them all there. I guess I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to do a Valentine project tomorrow. But you might see me getting things out. I know what I want to do. So I might be winging it. It isn't like I'm going to have it all organized. But I know what I'm going to do. So let's spread this out a little. And it won't be hard. Think Valentine. Only it won't be a Valentine. It'll be something that I'll probably put in my journal. But it'll be for Valentine Day. It'll be, well, it could be a Valentine. I got inspired by one of the Fussy Cut books. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oops, I can do the handle here. Oh, the bird's tail is getting covered by the handle. He's kind of behind it. Now, I suppose I should wipe this off pretty good. I think I got everything. Let's spread this out a little. Um, I guess I'm liking it. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Let's see, did I, I did, I only used the end of that, so. Okay, let me put it this way. And then I'll border them. I'll cut them apart tomorrow. Hopefully that glitter glue will be dry. If it's not dry, I won't do it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aunt Beth. Becky, let's see. What, let's see. One of the gals waits until 10.30 to call. Oh, Mary, the she lady. Lo, if I had to squeeze that hard, I would be able to, yeah, it, uh, I don't have to squeeze that hard with my fine line paint applicators. That was, that was too much. That's too hard. I think I would, if I had a child, I don't think that I would recommend it for a child. I would recommend the glitter glue. It's a pretty glitter glue. I wish you could see how sparkly it is. It's very sparkly. Um. But I don't think even if I get it up close to the camp. Well, there you can kind of see how sparkly it is. Maybe if I get it closer, you can see kind of some of the sparkle. Um, in the end, I'm liking them. I'm going to border them tomorrow. And maybe I'll put some sort of something on the cups. The cups are kind of, the flowers in the cups kind of got pushed to the background. So... Maybe I'll put paint some flower on them or something. And I might do something more with those hydrangeas. Mary, two of your cups at the bottom do not have steam. Oh, whoa, no steam in there. They're not hot. They're cooled off. Thank you. Who told me that? Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. We'll fix that right now. We got to have steam. Well, maybe I should squeeze it out here first. Uh, there. <laughs> this steam got a little thick. There it goes. <laughs> Whoever gets these will go, what are those white things coming out of them? <laughs> Steam 
is really more of a transparency than the than this is just opaque stream steam. <laughs> She says, oh my Becky, that's terrible. I said, Becky, I always hated when I had when I worked and having somebody call me at the last minute. Yeah. She's talking probably about Scott. Well, that's okay, Cheryl. Thank you so much. That's okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I kind of jumped on Allie Kay the other day because she told me my date was wrong. <laughs> I had 2017. And I kind of kind of jumped all over her, and now I feel bad. So, Allie Kay, if you're listening, I didn't mean it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And, Beth, thank you so much for letting me play along with you. I really appreciated it, and I'll put a link to your channel. It's so fun. I love doing your Dirty Dozens. So fun to do them. So thank you to everybody who came in, and uh, good night, everybody.